Several recent articles point out that ChatGPT is not advancing as fast as before and ask, has AI hit the wall? In this video, I'll explore how ChatGPT could overcome its current limitations and become truly intelligent. Right now, ChatGPT is impressive, but it falls well short of human-like intelligence. Let's break down what's missing. I'm Charles Simon, longtime AI researcher, software developer, and manager. In addition to AI work, I've developed software for several neurological test instruments and neural simulators, and along the way learned a lot about the capabilities and limitations of biological neurons and how your brain must work to do the things it does. I founded the Future AI Society to pursue these ideas, and we're writing all aspects of this process in the open source Brain Simulator 3, and I invite you to participate in the project. Although I'm talking about ChatGPT, it is only one example of a large language model generative AI system, all of which work in about the same way and have similar limitations. Fundamentally, ChatGPT lacks all understanding. This means the human mind can do many useful things that LLMs can't. These human-like thinking capabilities already exist in AIs outside of LLMs and could be implemented to enhance the LLMs. In an upcoming video, I'll talk about what such a system would be like and what the dangers will be. But in this video, I'll talk about some important things that can be added to LLMs, starting with why LLMs can't think and won't ever. What I mean by understanding, energy efficiency, brains versus LLMs, interaction with the real world, an internal mental model, and common sense reasoning. Taken together, these create a system with a human-like approach to comprehending the world. Whenever I say that ChatGPT can't think at all, a position that ChatGPT itself agrees with, by the way, people often cite examples where ChatGPT certainly appears to be thinking. But let me offer an analogy. A child is facing an upcoming math examination which is intended to determine if the child understands math. The child's teacher has two options. First, teach the child math. And second, give the child the answers to the examination questions. In either case, the child can do well on the examination, and if the examination is all we have to go by, we have no way of determining whether the child understands math or not. Interacting with ChatGPT is like asking exam questions where ChatGPT has been given the answers. It's difficult for us to imagine, but with trillions of examples gleaned from the internet and the ability to interpolate new answers, ChatGPT can do an excellent job of giving the appearance of thinking. The fundamental problem is that ChatGPT has already been given the information of the internet, and it's difficult to find new answers to feed it. Furthermore, it is text-based, and text and understanding are fundamentally different. In order to be thinking, ChatGPT needs some new strategies, and the remainder of this video proposes the ones which will have the greatest impact. What is understanding anyway, and how can we add it to AI? The human mind stores information in a network of nodes and relationships. With such an architecture, your mind can think of anything in terms of its relationships with other things. I can tell you that Fido is a dog, and your mind can instantly imagine the sensations associated with Fido. Your mind learns continuously, and its memory structure lets it infer information. It can plan and imagine the results of its actions or answers before taking them. Knowledge and understanding are not language. They are abstract, but can be expressed in language. If you're multilingual, you can express the same understanding in multiple languages. For example, your knowledge that balls can roll is independent of any words. 
you learn that roundness is the important characteristic and that color and size don't really matter. And you learned this before you learned to talk. When you learned to talk, you added the words to express your fundamental understanding, but the understanding was there first. Any AI system based solely on text is doomed to never understand. But we're well on our way to developing systems with true understanding. One obvious difference between your mind and ChatGPT is that your brain consumes less than 20 watts of energy, while ChatGPT lives in server farms and consumes megawatts. It isn't that biology is millions of times more efficient than electronics. It's not. It's that understanding is so much more efficient than statistics. If you can infer and remember a rule, like balls can roll, it's vastly better than storing and searching and interpolating thousands of examples of rolling balls. When AIs adopt an information structure similar to your mind, AIs will become hugely more efficient as well. ChatGPT, like most AIs, doesn't have the capabilities common to any three-year-old. It doesn't have the concepts that things exist and persist in a 3D environment, that time passes, and that causes lead to effects. To learn these things, AI needs to have a robotic component so it can learn about reality and learn that its own actions lead to results. This doesn't mean we'll all be interacting with robots. Once the fundamental understanding of reality is achieved through robotics, the robots can be removed and the understanding will remain. Like if you are blindfolded, you still know what red means because you can recall all the sensations from when you could see it. A necessity for autonomous robots and humans alike is the ability to maintain a model of immediate surroundings. It's how you know what's behind you right now. Without it, anything outside your immediate field of view would be gone from your understanding. But your mental model also gives you a place to imagine things. Coupled with a learned knowledge of fundamental physics and human reactions, your imagination lets you plan. Planning lets you consider an objective and then select the steps you need to take to reach that objective. LLMs are sadly lacking in this area. If the steps to achieve a goal are in the LLM's training data, it can do an excellent job of explaining them, but it has virtually no ability to plan on its own. But with the equivalent of a human mental model and imagination, it will. To be more human-like, ChatGPT needs common sense. You can't just have trillions of examples. You need an internal framework for understanding everyday logic and the ability to predict the future, at least a little bit. But given a true understanding of reality, comprehension of cause and effect and the passage of time, and AI with a mental model and the ability to plan would have the common sense of a person. Combining these elements, Understanding in terms of relationships, interaction with the real world, a mental model with imagination for planning, will lead to common sense and will propel AI to overcome its current limitations and move closer to human-like intelligence. So will ChatGPT become truly intelligent someday? The answer is yes, but it will require significant changes in AI architecture. Adding these capabilities would bring ChatGPT closer to the intuitive, contextually aware interactions typical of human conversation. Let me know what you think the future of AI looks like in the comments below. If you found this information interesting, be sure to like and subscribe so the YouTube algorithm will encourage others to learn about it too. And as always, thanks for watching.